ए वेरी वार्म वेलकम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल डीप बायोलॉजी दिस इज मनदीप सिंह टूडे वी विल डू द मोस्ट बर्निंग टॉपिक ऑफ बायोलॉजी दैट इज लेक ओपेनोन लेक ओपेनोन इज गिवन बाय द फ्रेंसोइस जैकोब एंड जैक मोनोड इन 1961. लेक ओपेनोन इज मेड अप ऑफ टू वर्ड्स लेक प्लस ओपेरोन लेक स्टैंड फॉर लेक्टोस एंड ओपेरोन इज द कोर्डिनेटेड ग्रुप ऑफ जीन्स which includes promoter gene regulatory gene structural gene and operator gene in simple term we can say that operon is the segment of dna which includes p stands for promoter i stands for regulatory gene p again stands for promoter o stands for operator gene z y a are the structural genes this regulatory gene will encode repressor mrna by the process of transcription this repressor mrna then undergo the process of translation and produces this repressor protein here the p region that is our promoter allow rna polymerase to bind then this repressor will binds to the operator and RNA polymerase will stored by this repressor protein on the operator region that's why RNA polymerase cannot move proceed further and there will be no synthesis of mRNA and there will be no expression of genes this is also known as negative control because in negative control there will be the inhibition of gene expression because of this repressor second one is our presence of inducer the same thing that regulatory gene will encode repressor mrna then it will encode uh, repressor protein when there is the presence of inducer in the surrounding of prokaryotic organism or e coli this will enter into the cytoplasm and binds to this repressor protein this repressor protein then do some conformational changes in this repressor protein and that's why this repressor becomes inactive and it will not bind to the operator region and as we know that promoter allow rna polymerase to bind because of absence of in repressor there will be the proceeding of rna polymerase to the structural genes and the polycystronic mrna is formed by the process of transcription this polycystronic mrna then undergo the process of translation and produces three types of enzymes z encodes beta galactosidase y encodes permease and a encodes trans acetylase first of all this permease enzyme will show its action it will allow entry of lactose from the surrounding of e coli into the cytoplasm then this trans acetylase transfer the acetyl group to beta galactoside the beta galactoside in our in this case is lactose acetyl group now beta galactosidase will allow allow breakdown of lactose into glucose and galactose i hope you have find my video useful and please like subscribe and share have a nice day